Hey everybody, it's Party Elite here with another episode of my Gladius Relics of War Orcs Let's Play. I do apologize for how slow this Let's Play series seems to be progressing, but that is simply because I have not picked the color red for my orcs. Foolish me, while setting this game up, I did not actually opt for the color red. I should have known better, but here we are with blue colored orcs slowing us down. <laughs> um, in all honesty though, I do apologize for the delay in episodes. Uh, it's just been extremely busy outside of the YouTube life, as it were, so I has, haven't been able to keep up, and I've been writing my guide and working on that as well. That should hopefully be releasing this weekend. Um, apart from that, though, I will have to find a slot for our beautiful game with the orcs somewhere in the schedule. Let me know how often you'd like to see it in the comments down below. Are you down for once, uh, once a week, twice a week? once every two days. Let's figure something out, maybe even daily content, but for now it's just going to be a touch slower than I'd like it to be, simply because of um, life being rough right now. But with that said, I'd like to know, with the game now released, what are you guys up to? How are you guys uh, enjoying the game? What factions are you guys playing as? Let me know the details, let me know how things are going, how your first games have uh, come about, how they've gone, if you've uh, managed to succeed, or if you've faced crippling failure. With that on the table though, let's move forward to hopeful success. We're gonna send these tank busters out, we're gonna send these def copters out as well. We've got more tank busters and more def copters coming out. And you know what? You guys, let's use Here We Go to get you a step further. We need to reinforce the front line as quickly as possible. Now, at the end of the last session, I was contemplating pulling back and drawing a line, drawing a front somewhere over here, but then I realized, no, we used the boys. We don't draw lines, we don't fall back, we push, we push, we push. So, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna risk, we're gonna ignore all logic and we're going to push in and try to destroy these Tomb Blades between the uh, sneaky gits over here, our glorious war buggies, and the tank busters. We should be able to destroy the Tomb Blades. The boys, meanwhile, will have to push up and take on these Necron Warriors. I'm a little concerned about the heavy destroyers, Maybe I'll pin them in place using the boys instead, but uh, my point being that we're, we're pushing. We're pushing. Because wah, that's why. So here we go, let's move you up, hit these Tomb Blades, and uh, the Tank Busters will finish them off. Now let's check real quickly if the boys will be able to finish them off. No. Alright. We don't want to leave them alive to pull back, so fire away with the Tank Busters. And if we move in with the boys and use these stick bombs, we might be able to take care of the warriors. So let's get into point-blank range here. Right, kill two out of five, or kill three out of five. Definitely a bigger number. Three is bigger than two. Even the boys know that. So let's try this out. And hopefully we will send, <laughs> hopefully we'll send them packing. Yeah, recall protocols indeed. Over here, let's fire away at the Lord as well. Keep him scared. There we go. And stick bomb's not gonna do more here. Yeah, no. Because it, de it depends on the size of the enemy unit. This is not good. It's not a very big number. What I could do is I could pop here we go and get up to here potentially. Just because if he pulls back, I don't want to... Hmm. He doesn't use range, so I don't really care for the forest. It's coming from here. And hit him. Hit him where it hurts. Come on. Daka, daka, daka. Come on. Chop him down, please. Don't let him get away. I need to drop this Lord. He's going to be a thorn otherwise. All right. At least he's taking a fair bit of damage. He's almost certainly falling back next turn, so that feels good. We've got reinforcements coming, more reinforcements on the way, and we're about to finish our research of mech guns as well. They will come in handy in this war. Come on, fall back. You cowardly Necron. Oh, it hurts to say that about my Krons. Oh, some Crute Hounds over here. Alright, these heavy destroyers are of course going to roll in. More heavy destroyers coming up as well. Man. Focusing in on the tank busters. I don't like that over here as well. These war buggies are in a bit of a trouble spot, I think. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. We need to pull back into the forest, perhaps. Alright, mech guns, armored anti-air, so maybe a little premature for that. But let's pick our next piece of research. What I think I'll do is uh, the kill of cans. Because... Because of comedic purposes, really? I just want the kill of cans. So we'll do the kill of cans and then we'll look into getting maybe uh, the fighting pits or or the scrap hammers. I think the fighting pits mainly because loyalty over here, not so hot. Not so hot. So it is slowing things down, reducing our, uh, you know, 
production and everything. So not really good. And population is a problem as well. So I do need to construct the Grotz hut as well. Let's acquire a tile. I'm saving this tile here for a food production building when we need it. We don't need it right now, but it's got plus 30% for food. And uh, we've got plus 40% for food over here. We've got extra food over here. Um, for now, though, let's pop this tile down over here. Three slots. One will be the mech, mech bits yard. One will be the Grotz hut, I guess. I wanted to put production buildings down here. Hmm. Well, you know what? We're... We need to get the Grotz Hut first, in fact. Population is not ideal right now. We're at our limit. We need more. Otherwise, we're not going to be working efficiently. So let's build the Grotz Hut first, and the Mech Bits Yard will have to wait. We've got Defcopters and stuff coming up, so that's okay, because they will help uh, in this current engagement. Let's pull the Tank Busters up to here. Let's get the Defcopters up to here. So they'll come around this way and provide assistance maybe against these heavy destroyers. The boys over here, you can cause a fair bit of damage. Tank busters as well. We're not dropping any of these heavy destroyers. I mean, we might drop one, but we're not scaring them off. Uh, we can pull in through the Imperial Ruins as well. Tank busters cannot get close enough to fire, unfortunately. Save that for next turn, but let's pull us in. Oh, hello. Should have seen that coming. Should have seen that coming. 1.8, 2.4. Alright, well, let's do this. Fire away. And you... Move in and fire away, alright. Well, I say fire away, but you know what I mean. I mean shoot and chop. Shoot and chop. Hopefully that's enough to send him packing. I'm a little concerned about that, to be honest. Over here, these tank busters, there's no... There are no shrooms nearby. The cl cl closest fungus is here, which is too far. So let's fire away from here. Maybe the war buggies will be able to come in and cause some damage here as well. They need to pull away from this situation because they're isolated and alone. Okay, hit them here as well. One will drop, so that's good. That should be enough to send them packing. Again, slowly pushing front... Slowly pushing the front further. Now let's pull back into the forest over here. Yeah, let's pull back over here. The heavy destroyers might roll in, but I'll have the range advantage, so I should get the Overwatch shots in. And down here, we finish the commando camps. Let's get a weird boy happening. Uh, the war boss is a close combat unit. Could be helpful, but the weird boy has psi powers, and I want to experiment with that. So let's get the, the weird boy happening. And five turns. That's going to take some time. That's going to take some time. I need to get the mech bits yard as well. I need some mechs coming out so I can build more cities. Okay, in come some shots. Those tank busters are not having a good time. They need to sit back and replenish a bit, I think. I, unless they die right now. There we go. It's okay, we've got another unit over here, and we've got some reinforcements coming up from behind as well. Alright, how shall we play this? I can destroy the heavy destroyers with... Well, that's weird. It says one out of two casualties, but I only see one unit. Oh, well, that's fun. Let's see. How far can we get? You guys can get all the way up to here, which is nice. You guys can get all the way up to here, which is nice. Mm, I could use Turbo Boost. That gives us a little bit more movement. Plus two might... I don't think it'll bring us close enough to actually hit the Heavy Destroyers, but we might as well do it. Yeah, and just get a little bit closer so that next turn we're definitely able to engage something. All right, over here... We could chase after the Lord. Cause a fair bit of damage there. The tank busters should roll up and probably destroy the heavy destroyers. So let's do that. These heavy destroyers will fire away at my tank busters. I much prefer playing the orcs like the orcs. <laughs> Sending them into Wa. Uh, it might be a lot wiser. In fact, there have been countless times when it would have been wiser to pull these guys back. But, uh, but no. That's not how we roll. Come on. Chop down that Lord. He is lord of nothing. Okay, there we go. Chop, chop. Now these boys... Just short of finishing him off. Now, what about the sneaky gits? Are you able to finish him off? No, 0.8 damage. Alright, here's what we're going to do. We're going to use the boys 
to pull into the ruins and then hit him. Because again, I want that for the, uh, well, not the forest cover, but the ruins cover to protect from the warriors. Let's get a little bit of damage in here. Daka, 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 indeed. There we go. And now, come on, war buggies. Tell me you can do the job. Yes. From over here. Because again, I want the ruins. All right, good. Down with the Lord. There he goes. The Lord of nothing. We's the Lords now, boys. All right, let's go and check. Okay, four turns. Math. I can do it. <laughs> Come on, Croot Hounds, help me out here. No, why me? I guess because I'm fleshy. Canoptic Scarabs mean... There's a spider here somewhere. And I cannot let it awaken this Necron Tomb. Under no circumstances can it awaken that Necron Tomb. Alright, should we hit over here? Because the Tomb Blades are right here. Oh yeah, we can destroy the Tomb Blades between the Tank Busters and the Def Copters. We can destroy the Tomb Blades. Mm. We unfortunately have pulled the War Buggies too far back. Otherwise, we could have done the same with the War Buggies and the Def Copters. I think I should destroy the Canoptic Scarabs. Feeling adventurous enough, the Crude Hounds are falling back towards me. Hmm. Those heavy destroyers are safe, unfortunately. All right, so let's drop the Tomb Blades first, because we can. And then I can also use um, Jink here to try and keep myself alive. Lest these heavy destroyers try anything clever. Over here, we can roll in and destroy the tank bus, or the tank bus, the Tomb Blades. Or scare the heavy, no, you know what, let's destroy the Tomb Blades. Let's do that. There we go, we're gonna eat some shots. Turn fire over here. Ah, you know what? <sighs> I'm gonna regret that, aren't I? I can't do that. Queue it up for next turn, so we have to pull back there. Alright, let's get the boys moving up against the Canoptic Scarabs. I'm a little worried that we're gonna come across something horrifying over here. There are, there is some orcoid fungus over here that I could take advantage of, which is nice. These guys, these boys are hurt, so let's get them up here. Let's get this happening over here. At least send those scarabs packing. Alright, and you, can you take care of the crew hounds on your own? You can. Just don't want to leave them alive and roaming. Let's do that. Good stuff. Well done, boys. Alright. That's that. We're good up here. We've got the war buggies able to roll in and cause some damage. Destroy the scarabs, perhaps? Yeah, that's the way to do it, I think. Let's do it. Let's go. Sneaky gets not being very sneaky. <laughs> All right. Now, again, I do have to be wary because based on what was happening last session, it looks and sounds like the Imperial Guard or the Space Marines are over here. And just as a little refresher, they are allied. I set them in the same team for this... Uh, for this campaign, as it were. That was an excellent suggestion from the comments, so I do thank you for it. Um, so that's going to prove difficult. It's going to be a 1v2 at one point. Their production is going to be a lot faster. Uh, they're going to be a lot deadlier. Like, let's be honest. So, uh, no, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Wee's the deadliest. What am I saying? What am I saying, guys? Um, all right, Graz Hut's first. Ah, oh, it seems so wasteful. And it takes six turns. I, I can't wait eight turns. And yet. And yet. This seems like a much more viable option for it. Oh, God, fine. Let's acquire this. And this tile is going to do Grotz Huts and, uh, and uh, the Fink Tank. Another Fink Tank, yes. That way this one can do more production-oriented stuff. We can get the Mex Bits Yard. We can get the... Uh, Another Cult of Speed, perhaps. Yeah, definitely, definitely the way to go. We've got more Tank Buses coming and more Def Coptas coming in a few turns as well, so that's good. That's good. And that is also, that's not what I meant, that is also the turn. All right. The old ones haven't trained us at all. Wa has trained us. We've trained ourselves. All right, we should be able to drop these Heavy Destroyers this turn. Okay, touch of damage to be pulling through. Over here, we can take care of these warriors as well. Hmm. Hmm. 
let's see, let's see. How shall we play this? These two boys can push forward and take care of these warriors. The tank busters, I fear I must pull back. Let's get the def copters going in first, perhaps. 3.7 damage like this, 5.3 like this. So, okay, def copters fire first. We might be able to destroy at least one destroyer, but... I want to pull the tank busters back into the forest for that range protection. And there we go. Yeah, we'll be able to drop at least one. So that's good. That's good. Maybe set them packing. And then over here, we've got these tank busters coming up as well. Yeah, let's get up to there. And these boys are going to move in and take care of those Necron warriors. Let's get you up here. Yeah, so we have access. Of course. Of course. Not to worry. We's the boys. We'll kill them. Daka, 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 right? All right, here we go. Let's get you up to here as well. We'll use the forest for cover, and that should be the end of these Necron warriors. Why did my first war... Why did my first engagements have to be against the Necrons? It hurts me. It pains me. It hurts me that this is the situation we're in. I kind of want to pull these guys back to the fungus here for healing. Let's get you up to there. Let's get you up to here. It actually surprises me that the war buggies don't have the scout option. Uh, as you can see, the def cop does have this uh, scout option here that reveals a radius around them. I would like the war buggies to have that. They're a nice, fast, scouty type unit, no? All right, let's get you. Here we going. And here we going over here. And we've got one more spot available for production. We might as well get some more tank busters. There's no reason not to. We've got plenty of ore, plenty of food. We're doing well enough. Come on, fall back, you cowardly Necron warrior. No, that's not falling back. That's moving wisely. All right, these guys are regenerating, so that's good. But we should be able to drop these tank busters, no problem. Or these uh, heavy destroyers, no problem. I hope the tank busters don't drop. There we go. Fine, you get first shots. But I get to return fire. And you get to die. Zoggin tin things. Stay dead this time. Alright, let's move on up. Get that ore field output. And over here, let's get the despoiler. Oh man. I hope this ridge ends at some point. It's a little silly that the ridge prevents my death copters from flying over them. <laughs> but, okay. Oh no, this continues for a while, doesn't it? I'm gonna have to force coastline battles, aren't I? Alright, let's move up to here. Use these boys. You boys up here. Scout a little bit. Imperial Ruins. And you boys. We're basically all at full health now. Let's get you over here. Again, forming that front. Keep pushing. The Necron. I think they only have one city, actually. What's the, What are the chances that there are two Necron tombs that were awakened? Awakened? Awoken? In this area. Minimal, right? Minimal. Must be. This must have been their next objective. Must have been. Alright, let's move you up as well. And what do you have a spot for here? Right. Let's get the Grotz Huts happening over here. Six turns. Dear Lord. By Gork and Mork. Alright, some more Scarabs coming our way. It's fine, it's fine. We'll get the shots in first. And these Tank Busters, I think, should be able to shoot as well. Or am I mistaken? I am not mistaken. All right, good hits. They do have the forest, unfortunately. Here we go. All right. That was nothing. That was nothing. Pathetic scarabs that I love because they're also my scarabs. All right, here we go. Good stuff over there. Let's keep pushing forward and see exactly what's going on. There we go. There's the Necron City. So this is a dead end. Looks like that's the coastline as well. Fair enough. Let's use Here We Go. Get out of the way. So you guys will be able to move a little bit fast. Oh, would you look at that? Two Canoptic Spiders. Two Canoptic Spiders. All right, let's try and destroy this one over here. We cannot allow it to get to the tomb. All of those shots look like they missed. 
Unfortunately, they've all moved, but you can cause some damage over here, and these tank buses can't get far enough, but let's cause some damage at least. This choppa isn't big enough? All right, fine. We'll research bigger choppas if that's what you boys want. If that's what you boys want, if that's what you boys need. I've got that song stuck in my head. I think it's a Mariah Carey song. What a girl wants, what a girl needs. Except what what the what the boys want, what the boys need. All right, I need the despoiler to move faster and to get farther. Aztec Sanact. Yeah, Aztec, you're Egyptec. All right, let's move up, let's move up. And there's our weird boy, so let's get our first ability over here. Let's see, Frazzle causes damage. Armor Pen 4, not bad. Witch Fire type, all right. Over here, War Path increases the melee attacks. Oh, well, that's cool. Like, for a targeted allied unit, that's pretty cool. Uh, mental Emissions for plus 6 research. Dude, that's not bad at all. And then the Jump teleports the Weird Boy and adjacent allied units to the target tile and adjacent tiles. That's cool. That's cool interpretation. I like that a lot. I can't wait to get a level six and uh, use this as like a shock, like a shock and awe force. For now, though, on the topic of shock, let's get these frazzles and let's uh, let's here we go. The hell out of Wazdaka. We've got the Def Copters as well this time around. We're gonna move up this way, not go around the coastline and potentially get stuck because you know. One can't fly over a coast. <laughs> um, and let's produce some more units as well. Get some more Def Coptas. Four turns for some war buggies. They've been performing quite well. Yeah, see, they're even listed as a recon unit. So why not give them scout? Why not give them scout? Let's get ourselves a war boss as well. It'll take a little bit longer. You know what? Let's not. Our influence is dropping very quickly. So let's, uh, let's, let's not do that. And in fact, let's consider what we could build to increase influence as well. <laughs> Another Cult of Speed. Nothing that gives a big ol', uh, okay, a weird boys pull. Is that like a dance club? That sounds like a, a dance club, you know what I mean. Alright, fine, let's skip the city then, and clear notifications, that's the turn. Let's hopefully destroy these spiders. We've got, we've got the Necron literally in a corner. Killer cans are available. These spiders aren't even willing to fight anymore. <laughs> the Krons have shut down. They, they've given up. They don't want to be here. All right. Killer cans come out of the pile of Daka, so that's not bad. Six turns, though. Gee, six turns. All right, let's move on up. Let's destroy the spider here. We can probably destroy it with the boys. If I'm not mistaken. Let's get you over here. Fine, it gets first shot. It's not the end of the world. Who do you want me to hit? I want you to hit this. And then the tank buses can fire away at this Canoptic Spider. Yeah. Yeah. Still having the forest as well, so there we go. Fire away. Wow, really? <laughs> Come on now. Whoa! Pew pew pew. Explosion. Come on. I was hoping yelling wah would cause more damage. That does not seem to be the case. All right, let's pop. Here we go. And let's start making our way over to the uh, city. Idle protocol initiated. You don't say. That's exactly what happened. Uh, Evil Sons Speed Freaks. I'm enjoying the names. I'm enjoying the name generations. Oh, what? That's not Speed Freaks. All right, fire away. Get a little bit of damage here. Close to dead. Oh. <laughs> From close to dead... to dead. One fell swoop. Good work. Good work, Sneaky. Gets... And over here... I'm, I'm going to have to come around, aren't I? It's a bit of a joke. Bit of a joke. Where's the closest? All the way over here. That's so ridiculous. Oh my god. Alright, fair enough. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. Let's move you up to here. Let's get you going up to here. Let's get you going up to here. 
All right. All right. Back here, let's see. Let's sleep the command. You know what? Actually, no, let's get a war boss coming out. I need to do something about my influence, though. No, I'll sleep it for now. And let's pick our next piece of research. What can we do? Fighting pits to increase loyalty. Again, not a bad idea. So perhaps let's go with that for now. I don't think I need anything else. We will get the bigger choppers. The boys have been asking for bigger choppers. And if that's what they want, that's what they'll get. All right, and the turn, I don't think, uh, yeah, they're not doing much. They're probably waiting to produce some things, but uh, it'll take them time. Let's get you into the fungus over here. Because you need a little bit of healing. Get the boys going as well. I'm a little, we're going to take a lot of damage, obviously. Very little tree cover unless I get all the way to there. Let's get you to here, I guess. Or really, the farthest you can go? Come on. Let's get you guys coming around the side over here. Yeah, this is where I have to get back. Okay, and these tank busters... I mean, we're making our way over. Def copters as well. Let's get you up over here. And let's get you up over here. I don't even think my weird boy is going to be able to get to the city before we destroy it, to be honest. All right, tank busters, here we go. Move on over. And that is the turn. Three more turns till this is done. Dear Lord. Let's get some killer cans happening because, again, comedy. All right. Yeah, I think we're just kind of waiting for the Krons to give up. I might as well pick this up while I'm on my way over. Get the extra research buff. Help me get there faster, as it were. All right, let's move into the forest over here. Move up. And you... I mean, at least we can fire from over here, so there's that. Might as well. One of them's gonna drop, fair enough. Wow, I should actually not stay here. At all. At all. Let's, uh... Pop turbo boost. Question is... Yeah, okay, no, it, it can... Okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. Jink, then. At least stay alive. It's a named unit. Always hurts to lose. Where is our weird boy? Let's get you going. There is a shop along the way, so we'll hit that up, because this shop, what else does it give us? Influence, which, you know what? I need. So whoever can get there first will get there. Down here, let's get you moving on up. All right. Two more turns until the Grotz huts are done. All right, one more destroyed. We're going to pull these uh, Def Coptas back. They need to heal up. This is not an ideal situation you back and hopefully we don't get shot down by some imperial guard gunship or some nonsense like that this is gonna take a lot of time to take down well here goes <laughs> fire away get you in the forest over here fire away at this rate actually the weird boy might make it up to here all right, boys. Oh, boy. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And here we go. Got these Def Copters as well. Most certainly not going to engage the city. We saw how well that worked out. So let's group up these Def Copters. Roll back. Let's get you up to here. And over here, let's get you up to... Here. Get whoever gets to this uh, trader encampment first, we'll pick it up. All right, let's go that way. There is an Imperial Bastion down here that I still want to destroy. And there's this one over here as well, right next to the uh, Ruins of Vol, which I will also destroy when I get the chance to. We can produce some more Def Coptus, perhaps. You know what? I don't... I, uh, we're going to hold off on production for a little bit. For just a little bit. I don't know. 
negative 29 will take some time to fix up. I think what, here's what we need to do. I think after this Grotz hut's completed, we're going to build the Mech's Bits Yard over here. Because that way we can get Mechs coming out. And we'll get a Mech out, and we'll use that Mech to erect another city somewhere good. Somewhere good, I said. None of these tiles are good. What about up here? Is this Necron Tomb in an ideal position? Energy or research? I mean, oh, oh, here we go. Yeah, there might be a nice spot over here around this uh, trader encampment. Way away from my first city. But that might be necessary. We'll see. Negative 29, pretty soon that's going to become a problem. Damn, that's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. Okay, Fighting Pits is ready. Let's see how much of a difference that actually makes. Okay, fire away. We need to get the boys in here as well. Oh my god. Okay, let's go. Alright, we'll use Here We Go to get a little bit closer so we can actually hit the tomb, or hit the city, I should say. Yeah, we're causing minimal damage. Let's get the uh, Speed Freaks to fall back. I wish we had Here We Go, we could get into the Orcoid Fungus. Get these boys pop in Here We Go as well. Right. Of course. This isn't good. We're going to lose this unit. We're going to lose the evil sun speed freaks. Well, they're going to go down fighting, of course. Of course, they're boys, not squigs. Um, and over here, yeah, sure, we can roll up to the side. Why not? Let's do that. These def copters, unfortunately, have to stay back. Hold you until you heal. And we'll just skip them for now, these guys. I mean, I could push forward and scout, but I don't want to draw any aggression. <laughs> I guess we should familiarize ourselves with the lay of the land. All right, who's left to move? Let's get you rolling up this way. Let's get you rolling up this way. We've got more units than we have tiles in that area, to be perfectly frank. All right. And over here, let's see. Fighting pits... Fighting pits, fighting pits, fighting pits. There we go. Nice big chunk of loyalty there. That'll help a lot. Six turns though. And you know what? I need I need the mech bits yard. Let's get the mech bits yard right over here. This will kind of be our cultural center. <laughs> we'll have uh we'll make the Grotz huts, we'll make the Weird Boys Pole. And we'll make the Fighting Pits as well. We'll miss out on that plus 20% research, which is unfortunate. But there's, a uh... Wow, there's actually very little research buffing in the area. So we might... Oh, I might still want to do the Fink Tank there. We'll figure it out. Future planning is not for orcs. What kind of orc plans for the future? Ooh... Oh, you know what? I could do that. Fear to orcs would be really helpful. Ba uh, a battle wagon would also be really helpful. <laughs> They're also a lot of fun. Red paint job. Increase the damage of war buggies, battle wagons, daca jets, and burna bombers. Wait. I thought red goes faster and yellow causes more damage. Am I wrong? I could be wrong. Again, orcs were not my primary army or anything. Well, let's go with fear to orcs, I think. Let's see if there's anything else back here that could maybe help us. I don't think so. I mean, and a pain boy right now, but that would take so many turns to get one out. So fine, let's go with Fear to Orcs. I think that'll help us more in the immediate future. Yeah, that and, and having another city. <laughs> having another city would make a very big difference. Yeah, down with these tank busters, I guess. That is too bad, but it's okay. It's okay. We've got another unit of tank busters rolling right up. Those other boys fight. They fight, they die, they fight again. Man, this, this city will take so long to, 
to destroy. Keep at it. Come on, boys. I don't want to lose any death copters, but the chip damage right now could be the difference between another unit falling or surviving. And I'm starting to wonder if I want that chip damage for the uh, potential loss of, of life. It's popping over here. Might as well. Let's get you rolling up as well. I mean, I don't know how much damage this will even do. Armor pen 4, damage 3.6. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Okay, let's get you... And I am tempted to scout further and see what the hell's going on over here. Because again, we can only fit so many units here to fire. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, take a little peek over here. Pop that little scout ability. Alright, I just wanted to make sure there was nothing waiting for me over there. You guys are still holding until you heal. Good stuff. Over here, let's get ourselves... Sure, let's get some death copters coming. And you know what? At that rate, might as well get a war boss coming as well. There we go. Hopefully our population grows sooner rather than later. Gork knows I need it. Ah, damn it, they got a lord out. This is gonna be trouble. Alright, dropping the croot hounds. That's good, that's good. Oh no. I was worried that would be the case. This is not good. This is turning around very quickly right now. <laughs> very, very quickly. We only have these tank buses up here. I need to destroy... I need to destroy as much as I can as quickly as possible. Damn. They don't stack. Fair enough. Let's go in. I could send you in to start causing some damage. And the tank busters, with these two combined, I should be able to at least destroy one of the Tomb Blades. But it's not like they're going to fall back. Get up over here and fire from there. Okay. And the city's going to last a lot longer than any of these units could. Ah, this is far from ideal. This is very far from ideal. For tank busters, you're not really busting these tanks, are you? Alright, um, over here. What can we do? We can work on the Lord. Pull off into the forest over here, or I could pull back. Fall back and try to get to the Orcoid Fungus. Hmm. Got the tank buses coming up. Got the weird boy coming up. Alright, you know what? No, we're gonna we're gonna stay aggressive here. We might lose more of these units, but that's life, isn't it? That is life. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, let's try and hurt the Lord. And you work on the city, and you work on the city as well. Okay, okay. It's coming along. It's coming along. Let's keep you scouting further. Should have picked this up. Alright, that's the turn, though. Where those Tomb Blades go? I guess they fell back to the forest over here. Oh, these boys are dead. In comes the Lord next. Not an ideal situation, guys. Not an ideal situation at all. Alright, can we start destroying some of these? There we go. Fire away. Some shots from the from the despoiler should hopefully destroy one. Cool. And then the tank busters can't finish them off, unfortunately. Alright. Alright. 
Hmm, how do I want to play this? Because here's the thing. It doesn't matter if I don't finish them off right now. This is their last stand. They'll turn around and fire. Cause a fair bit of damage, too. And if the, if the city decides to fire as well, I'm in trouble. So I could pull back over here. And then fire at the city. Allow the Tomb Blades to push forward and get my War Buggies to respond. Over here, let's keep chopping at the city itself. We'll get the... Yeah, we'll get you here firing away at the city as well. We've got a weird boy coming up. Able to provide some support. Yeah, yeah, we're okay, we're okay. It's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world at all. Okay, we're gonna skip you. You're fine. Stay on Overwatch. Keep you rolling up. And let's pick up... Ah. Well, let's pick this up first. Only because energy is not really ideal right now. That's going to draw the Crute Hounds towards us, which is also not ideal. Oh, hey, and the Killer Cans are out. I mean, yeah, they look hilarious. <laughs> uh, I mean, maybe some more fun could have been had with the animation. See, this is what I mean. It's like the little things, right? There's no smoke coming out of the pipes. They're not, like, vibrating and shaking. Like, this is, a, this is an orc construction. It is way too steady for an orc construction. This is what I mean by little details and units are missing. If you've seen my review, you know what I'm talking about. But that's that's what's kind of, I guess, getting to me about this game. There's this glorious opportunity to have some real fun with some of these units and their animations, but that just wasn't... In some cases, it's there. Like, when you watch the uh, Canoptic Spider twitch and stuff, it's great. But for other units, it's just completely non-existent. Missed opportunity. Oh, I don't like that. We're gonna pull back. Something here that I do not like. Pull back to over here. Again, an allied front from the... Uh, from the Yumis, as it were. Alright, tank bus is up front. Where did that... Where did the Tomb Blades go? Back here in this corner, I guess? And I can pull up to here. Yeah, there we go. You're gonna get first shots, but that's okay. Does it hurt to have your nerves stripped atom by atom? I don't know, Tomb Blade. You tell me. The boys never hurt. Alright, now we gotta work on this Lord as well. Okay, fire away. All right, we'll chip away there. We'll chip away at the city as well. Hopefully the city will fall pretty soon. And then it looks like after the last city is destroyed, the units all kind of go idle. So I'll, I'll, ch I'll still chase down the Lord and destroy him. No way I'm going to leave a Zoggin Tinfing roaming my Gladius. All right, one more unit needs an order. You need an order. Oh... Yes, of course, range two. Sure. Take it. Emperor Palpatine style lightning bolts. All right, here comes the Lord and the city. Killing my tank busters. We're going to fall back and uh, use the uh, Orcoid Fungus to heal. A lot of damage. Fall back. And then fire away. I mean, it's almost destroyed that city. Next turn, it'll definitely... I mean, you know what? Actually, I could send these Def Copters in probably and destroy it. Or that. <laughs> these tin boys weren't that hard. Huh. But dare Eds looks dead orky on a boss pole or a battle wagon dash. Let's go digging and see if we can root out a few more. I can't do the accent. I'm sorry, guys. That's just... It's not... I don't know how. <laughs> All right. That's cool, though. Down with the Necrons. Oh, this Lord... Ah, I guess they've changed stuff up with the uh, release build, then. Fair enough. Well, if that Lord still poses a threat, then I must destroy it. Come on, fire away. 
This is not a bad spot for a city, actually. I do wish that when you destroyed a city, it left behind... Um, it left behind ruins. Like, mechanically speaking, ruins. No reason for it not to. Alright, and it's... I mean, now we need to move against the United Yumi Front. That's the next step. Let's get up over here. Alright, good stuff. Good stuff. Order cities. We can build the mech guns. Let's get some mechs happening first. Again, just having another city means we're going to have more resources to do things with. Yeah, our influence is fine. We get it by fighting, so we, we're... I shouldn't have wasted those turns, actually. Alright. Down here, meanwhile, we wanted to get... What else do we want to get? Get the mechs. Bit yard. I wanted to get the fighting pits in here. Because this is slowing us down. So, yes. And I need to increase my population as well. I need to do something to speed that up. Food's okay, though, so there's that. And you know what? Before I forget, because I have been constantly forgetting, you. Let's give you the endurance implant, the recovery package. The line grenade will leave for somebody else. There we go. All right. Now, uh, yeah, it's time to destroy that Necron Lord and then deal with, yeah, Space Marines, Catacan Devils. Whoa! That is some serious aggression. Fear the Orcs! When a Wah is powerful enough, it has something like a multiplying effect, with every blow struck further enhancing the leaking psychic field in a sort of ultraviolet orky feedback loop. <laughs> I love the pseudo-scientific explanation. Alright, we've got our war boss out as well. Let's get him an attack squig, because why not? And this is nice. At least having an attack squig adds an attack squig. I mean, it's an... Uh, it's not a very pretty attack squig, but it's there. It hops around. Alright, let's... uh. Leave that for our lords. Put it to sleep now. One more turn for more Def Coptas. Three turns for some Killa Cans. We're doing good. We're doing good. Alright, let's move on over. Keep you on the fungus, perhaps? I don't think there's more fungus along the way. Now, let's keep moving. Can't fall behind. Up here, meanwhile. Send a couple of these units in. Yeah, this is definitely going to cause more damage. Alright. The Def Copters will cause a touch more damage as well. If I can select them. There we go. Good stuff. Yeah, he's not going to last very long. That's why I pulled the other units back. There's no point... ...wasting... ...time... ...over here when uh, we need to stop the... Imperial Guard, or sorry, the Astra Militarum and the Space Marines from getting too far down their, uh, their tech trees and stuff like that. You know what? You boys can also pull back. Let's use a turn in the Orcoid Fungus to get that extra heals. And over here, how do we want to play this? I definitely want to see what's going on. Alright, see, like, I'm glad I spotted that. And the Killer Cans, let's roll you up over here. What is your... Yeah, we've got the Scorcha and we've got the Canned Claw. So I'm curious. I want to see these Cruit Hounds engage us and see what happens there. Now let's choose our next research. We could go with the Battle Wagon or... <laughs> or perhaps we go with the Bigga Choppas. We do use melee a fair bit. A tank, tank Buster Bomb is not a bad idea either. The Tank Busters will then be able to cause some more damage to the inevitable armor units we're going to be seeing. So let's go with that first and then we'll go Bigga Choppas. Because we will slowly be transitioning out, at least the boys, but the Killer Cans as well have melee abilities. You know what? A lot of our units have melee abilities. That's just in orcish nature. So we will do the Bigga Choppa next. Come on. Give up. Foul Tinfing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, dear. Oh, that's not too bad. It looks a lot scarier than it is. Fair enough. How this... Okay, we're fine. We're fine. There we go. We're here, let's pull you... I don't want to land on the wireweed, of course. I don't want to just pointlessly go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. 
So let's move and shoot, or scoot and shoot, as it were. Cause a bit of damage here. Uh, literally just a bit of damage, like... That was nothing. At least this way we can see our Killikans in action. I want to see what this looks like. It looks like a canned animation. Pun not intended. At least now the comedic <laughs> audio cues make sense. I don't know. I hope you can hear the music. I usually try to balance the sound, but I think I do a decent enough job of it. Hopefully you can hear the music and just how comedic it is right now. All right, this lord should fall within this turn or the next. Probably the next. Fair enough. One more turn of taking damage on the weird boy is not the end of the world. In fact, can we? I ah, know it consumes the movement and the action. All right, we're good down here. Meanwhile, let's get you moving, and we've got the deaf copters as well now. Let's get you moving. Good stuff, and let's get some more deaf copters. And we'll research soon. We'll research the uh, war buggies. All right. Hounds down here, Lord up here, yep. It's not like you can awaken the tomb. You're not a canoptic spider. Oh, but you can heal yourself. Oh, here we go. Damn, that's a lot of hurt. I might actually need to pull back. Now these are fun to fight. Big beaky humies who knew how to punch and shoot. They're almost as good as orcs if they do hide behind all that shiny armor, even if it's a pity they aren't that many of them. Indeed, it is. And the Astra Militarum. Faction discovered. Umis. Squishy pink Umis. They don't put up much of a fight on their own, but with a few tanks behind them, you could have some fun till a better fight comes along. Pity they squish so easy. Oh, I can't do the voice. So why am I trying? This is not good, though. So here's that United Front. Red and green. Christmas colors. It's Christmas for them, not for me. All right. Oh, hey, that's not bad. It's not a bad start. Not a bad start to this war at all. All right, cool, cool, cool. Good to know that I can at least cause damage. I shouldn't have pulled up to here. That Bastion's going to get shots in. Not the end of the world, but, you know, not ideal either. We might as well hit it since we're here. Yep, a lot of good that did. And you know what? I say we pull down and try to hurt these Assault Space Marines. After all, we're here for WA. Why would we sit back? Yeah. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Good stuff, boys. And let's get the uh, War Buggies coming in as well. Get another casualty in there. They'll most certainly fall back. I need to figure my approach out over here. I want to go about this. Okay, we know there's some enslavers over here. So let's uh, let's move as a pack, shall we? There we go. Kill at least one of them with this. Yeah, sure. So if, even if they manage to enslave these tank busters, we'll be able to kill it right away. More or less. Get you over here, up here. This is actually ugh, annoying. We're supposed to die this turn, damn it. At least we'll cause enough damage. We'll, again, should be able to kill it next turn. Unless it Necrodermis repairs again. Oh, you know what? We might be able to kill it this turn because the weird boy should be able to cause not enough damage. Great. All right, let's pull you back to here. Pop this. Now, hopefully he'll be preoccupied with maybe these tank busters or the def copters or something. And he won't be distracted by the fact that I exist. This is not good. At least this only has range 3 max. It's not the one with the 2 to 6 range. Alright, we're okay. We're okay. One more turn until we get the mechs. And the mechs, I think, will actually put a city down. Maybe somewhere over here. There's ore... 
there's food, there's fungus, there's ruins. The reason why I say that is because if we need to put up a united front, I wouldn't mind putting it up somewhere over here. Again, it's a bit of a choke point, looks like, potentially. Space Marines are probably down here, and Imperial Guard are up here. If they come together, then at least the city will provide some extra firepower for me. Which uh, could be the difference between life and death. Alright. That's that. Let's see what this Lord does. At least he's not just standing there looking pretty. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't you dare. Oh, come on. Come off it. He just killed my weird boy. That's some crap. Alright, that's fine. We'll just get another one. This makes us mad. Alright, we're fine. We're fine. We're okay. We're okay. Just need to maybe consider falling back. Oh, we're gonna lose our war boss as well. God damn it. Eat the cat of can devils. All right, here we go. Killer cans are out. Move. We got the mechs out. Move. In fact, mechs. Use here we go, and move a little bit further. All right, you. Let's get you building the mech guns. Let's also get more killer cans coming out, and let's get another war boss. A lot of equipment lost. Very upsetting. That Necrodermis Repair is being spammed to all hell right now. Oh, it's like I need to bring back some of the tank busters or something. One more hit would have done the trick. One more hit is all I needed. So fine. That's how it needs to be. Let's pull you back into the forest perhaps? No, 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 no. Let's fire from here. Maybe we'll we'll distract him with the Oh god damn it. Ridiculous. Alright, at least now no matter which way he decides to go from where he's standing, we should get first shots with our death copters. Good stuff. You tank busters. Get you boys. Get you up over here. Let's get you up over here. Get you over in here. Claim that tile for us. Over here, what's the deal? Two out of eight? Well, not of eight. That's with the war buggies. You guys. Three out of eight, four out of eight. All right. Okay. Okay. I, mean, I don't see why not. It's a little risky because there's the Hydra back there as well, but... Yeah, let's go. Chop them down. Set them on fire. Scare them off, if nothing else. Right, the war buggies should be able to kill one more, so that's that. Good stuff. This is actually what I've been worried about throughout the entirety of this session up until now, is uh, dealing with this Space Marine Imperial Guard Alliance. Because... Because... Uh, they haven't kept each other in check. While I was fighting the Necrons, nobody was keeping either of these guys in check. So they're going to have the unit count. But not only do they, not only do each of them have more units than either me or the Necrons, because the Necrons are basically dead, but they also are working together. So that's twice, it's twice the amount of more units than me. If I'm lucky, the Castellan robot will, you know, cause some damage over here. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not good. This is not good at all. Alright, at least we got the tank busted bombs. Here's the deal. We, uh, we... Um, hmm. We must... Get that city happening as soon as possible. Come on, move faster. Got this escort coming in as well. Damn, Catacan Devil. Let's get you to fall back. 
Hopefully not draw any attention to yourself. As we do so, let's get you... I'm, like, I'm tempted to kill... I want to destroy this unit. Ah, god damn it. Real clever, real clever, but it's okay. They didn't do too much damage. Let's fire away down here. Good stuff. And what about you war buggies? Can you actually finish them off? No, we can get one more kill, though. I mean, that's tempting. It'll get me away from the Fortress of Redemption, but it'll keep me close to the Hydra as well as these guardsmen. However, we're not going to fall back. I'm going to back out from this fight. We've got the forest for cover. Fire away. Get one more kill in there. Go. Force them back. There's more fungus here we can use as well to keep ourselves healthy. And we should be able to loop around this side over here too. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, we have the Lord over here. Lord. And this should be the end of said Lord. Hopefully he moves down and we were able to pop him rather than moves that way. Should have sent these Def Copters over this way, but it's okay. Not the end of the world. Down here we have more construction options available. What shall we do? What shall we do? Energy. Energy is not a bad idea. Starting to lose it pretty fast. Food is still okay. Research was one of the uh, thoughts. Loyalty is okay now, so there's that at least. I could up my loyalty more and increase production even further. The think tank is maybe not a bad idea. Or we could get another Cult of Speed and increase our production output. Hmm. That's what I'm thinking right now. Alright, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do the power gubbins for more energy. And then we'll get a cult of speed in here as well. And really speed up the production of, you know, war wagons and things like that. Let's pick our next piece of research as well. And let's go in with the... I think the red paint job is not a bad idea. The extra damage could really be the difference between... Uh, life and death right now. Because I'd like to get, well, what, I need to get the Mega Knobs, for sure. And I need to get, oh man, the Daka Jets this far down. Battle Wagon Rocket Launchers, you know what? Alright, here's what we're going to do, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go with the Battle Wagon. We need to get a Fink Tank. ASAP. Let's go with the Fink Tank first. Because a Fink Tank, with plus 20%, will start giving us benefits sooner. All right, them's the notifications. And what's the AI about to do? What's about to happen? What are we about to lose? No, don't come this way, go that way, damn it. Really? Oh my god, they got a Basilisk up there as well. This is not good. We can lose these war buggies too, aren't we? The kill cans are definitely dropping at this rate. Yeah, this is far from ideal. And of course the Lord repairs himself. Wow. Wow, are we not on the back foot here. <laughs> this united front may have been a terrible idea. I really should have let the Necrons live. This is what I get for role-playing an orc and wanting wah on the first faction I meet. But we are in a bit of a struggle situation over here as the uh, the squishy Yumis and the, the Yumis that hide behind armor are pushing in alongside the local flora and fauna. Thank you all very much, you foolish Castellan robot. Helping destroy my killer cans. This is not ideal, guys. This is not ideal. However, this is, well, in another way, also not ideal, where we're going to call the session and uh, leaving me in a bit of a cliffhanger situation as well. I'm not sure how this campaign is going to proceed. I'm not sure if we're actually going to succeed here or fail horribly. 
because of this united front that we've allowed to grow too strong. Nonetheless, as I've said countless times before, if you have enjoyed this series, please do not hesitate to let me know by dropping a like and a comment if you'd like to see it continue. That really helps because I keep an eye on those numbers and they influence my decisions when I'm choosing what to continue and how often to release episodes. A massive thanks to you all for watching, of course, and a big thanks as well to all of my patrons for the countless months of support they've given me. It really makes a huge difference month to month keeping the channel alive and running. Again, thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, Orcs, 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 orcs.